Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Carlos Eduardo, did you have problems yesterday with the connection? Yeah, teacher. I'm sorry, but yesterday I had problems with my internet connection. Oh, sorry to hear that. All right. But please watch the video to catch up. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thanks. Okay. Okay, everyone. Remember that you have to work on the platform on the section four. All right. Section four. Maybe. There are some topics yes. that you don't know yet, but maybe you know the topic and you can refresh, all right? Remember, watch the video, then do the knowledge check, all right? Watch the video, participate in the discussion forum, and then um, do the knowledge check, all right? Okay, then let's start with the class yes. today. Let's start with the class today. What were we studying the last class? Do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan que vimos la clase pasada? Colors and... Colors, mm -hmm. And the clothes. And the clothes. And clothes, yes, and clothes. Now, can you name the colors in English? Red. All right, red. Red, black. Mm -hmm. Yellow, black. black. Green. Mm -hmm. Gold and silver. Blue. All right. Mm -hmm. Green, brown. Okay. Light blue. Light blue. Dark brown. White, black. Excellent. Pink. Mm -hmm. Yes, those are the colors. Those are the colors in English. There are other colors that are mm, different and maybe it's the concept and the eye, right? What see that color. And we compare the color with something else, right? But we have some uh, special colors like beige, right? Beige. It's the same in English, beige. Uh, there is another like khaki, right? We know the color khaki, the khaki color. It's the same yeah. in English, right? It's the same in English. And there are others like um, as the color of the sky, but maybe the sky is gray today, right? <laughs> but usually the sky is blue, the sky is blue, right? Or light blue if you want. Uh, what are the colors of the rainbow? What are the colors of the rainbow? Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Um, uh -huh. Seven colors. Red, orange, uh -huh. yellow, purple, blue, uh, green, green, uh -huh. um, light blue. Uh, right, I um, think so, but there is, uh, okay. Did you say pink? Yes, you said pink, uh, right? Pink. Yes, did you say pink? Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't you Google the colors of the rainbow? Google the colors of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. You got them? Oh, no. Yes, we have a kind of pink. Uh, okay. Yeah, indigo. Indigo is the blue one, right? Oh, indigo. Violet. Is... Violet. Yeah, violet. Violet. R6, teacher. Those are six. Are they six? One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, it says here. Yeah. Well, seven says, colors to the rainbow. Uh, yes, yeah, seven colors of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, now we know the colors of the rainbow. Remember red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, right? Okay, people, now let's remember 
uh, pieces of clothes. Do you remember your clothing? Who remembers your clothing? Shirt, mm -hmm. pants, pants, or trousers. Juice. Los pants también se llaman trousers, okay? Mm -hmm. Trousers. Trousers. Lo voy a escribir en el chat por el que no lo conozca. All right. Like this. Trousers. All right. Mm -hmm. Shirt, trousers or pants, shorts, shoes. What else? Sneakers. Sneakers, yes. Mm -hmm. Dress. I'm sorry? Socks. Socks. Dress. Please, um, please repeat. Dress. Oh, yes, dress. Uh huh. And when he said, do it confident, okay? Dígalo fuerte y abra la boca con confianza. Aquí estamos entre amigos, okay? So, dress. Very good. Mm -hmm. And you said another color. T-shirts. T-shirts. And jeans. jeans. Mm -hmm. What about skirts? Skirts for women. Skirts. Mm -hmm. Scarf. Skirt. Bufanda, no? Scarf. Yes. Scarf. Tie, a tie. Tie. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do we use on our heads? Hat. Hats. Mm -hmm. And okay. what else? Cap. Cap. Yes. Cap. Caps. Mm -hmm. Caps. They are different kind of things, and it depends on the place, the name that they call these items. But in general, they have a um, common name, right? They have a common name. Yesterday, Daniela was asking for those sandals, right? But they are high heels or formal sandals, right? Uh, I was looking this item up and well, in some countries they call it like mules, but mule, I think it is more those of cork and wooden, right? Cork and wooden. Son más como de corcho, altos y, y como uh, de madera, right? Mule. Uh, mule, mule. Because it comes from the mulet, right? The thing that you use to, <laughs> to help walking. Uh, they are made of wood. Mm, but I think for us, uh, or for me, it's a sandal, right? We can say formal sandal. Mm -hmm. There are some, uh, I don't remember, tiptoe thing, right? Uh, that they don't cover all your shoe uh, or your foot, but they are with high heels too. So mm, yeah, but sandals with, is okay. All with right? platforms, you say teacher? Uh, no, 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 no. Those are, mm, mm, no, platforms are those that are all together. Uh, oh, the others are wedges. Wedges que tienen cuña, okay? Es como un tacón de cuña, ¿verdad? Wedges. And some of them are uncovered. Algunos de ellos son así como de pititas y todos más o menos que los, el dedo está, el dedo gordo va suelto, ¿verdad? Yeah. So, yeah, wedges. You can use that depending on the soul, right? Soul es la suela. Soul. Soul mm -hmm. es la suela del zapato. All right, guys. So now continue with this. Continuing with this, we want to start by um, doing an exercise. All right. So we are going to split the group in the break of rooms. Okay. We are going to break the room in, in rooms. And you are going to do this exercise. Just allow me to send it to you.
<laughs> one second. This is when. <laughs> Okay, they're on module one. Here it is. Oh. Yeah, we'll close it and then I will reopen it. Okay, there it is. Colors and clothes, colors and clothes. It's a matching thing. So please open that file and we are going to the breakout rooms and let's do it in groups, all right? Okay. There you are. Did you receive the invitation? Mm. Ah, por ejemplo, o sea, el, así haciéndolo desordenado, pero por ejemplo, la letra E que dice traditional que enseñara dress ball gown. Este gown, ajá. Gown, okay, gown. Well, gown. Okay, sería pink. Pink. Entonces, en la 10 pondríamos la letra E, que sería pink. En la 10. En la, en la 10, sí, porque es, la, es el color el color adecuado, pink. Y así con todos. Ok, try to say that in English. Number 10, letter E. All right? Yes. Ok. Use okay. your English. Ok, ok. Number 10 is letter E. Letter E. Ok. Um, Number B is... Uh, six or no, it's fire bricks. Fire, all fighters uniform from Salvador. Uh, um, letters, um, uh, se supone estamos cinco participantes acá. Alguien más se unió. Ah, yo pensé que solo éramos tres. This is your teacher, guys. Ah, hi, teacher. Oh, okay. okay, teacher. Okay. Yes, okay. here I am. Okay, continue, continue. Okay. The dark blue. Sí. The number D. D. Um, ah, sí. National, la policía, sí, del uniforme mm. de la policía. Sí, es el oscuro. El blanco. Fire surgery. Nurse. Sí. Nurse, de enfermera, uniforme de enfermera. Ajá, uh -huh. guay. Sí, el guay. Nurse. Azul y. Teacher, y are you still there? Yes, here I am. Uh, I just. Uh -huh. I just. Uh, me conecté a la reunión sin. Sin haberle escuchado las indicaciones antes, no sé si lo estamos haciendo bien. Yes, you were doing okay here. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's so much the color in the left column. 
Yeah. Okay. Use your English here. For example, you can say number two, letter mm, I, right? Uh, no, number one, letter D. Use your English, guys. Okay. El okay. tres, blue. Number three, uh, blue and deep red. Blue and deep red. Blue and deep red. Um, this is a Barcelona FSA uniform. Ah, right. Yeah, it's true. No, el cuatro es azul y blanco. Es, ah, eh, no, no, F. no. Yeah, me confundí. Oh. Sí, es national flag mm -hmm. of El Salvador. National flag of El Salvador. Flag of El Salvador. Yeah. Olive Green es el... Olive Green is the restaurant. El militar, el uniforme militar. Oh. Militar, yeah. uniforme. Yeah. From El Salvador. Mm -hmm. You're hungry, Daniela. I'm sorry. I didn't get my lunch. El orange es fire uniform de los bomberos de Salvador. La, la B. Okay. Seven dark green. Dark green. Ah, oh, la bandera ah, nacional. Yes, sí, correct. Entonces es blue and white. Entonces esa sería blue and Pero white. Nacional. Ahorita la pongo. Sí, yeah. oh. Es la F, ajá, ahorita la pongo. Vaya. Use your Ahí English. Dice, letter F. Letter F. Ajá. Letter F. Yes. Okay. Vaya. La siguiente dice all, la number five, Oliver Green. Green. Olive, Olive Green. Sería. Verde. Ahí dice. Yes. Military uniform from Bio, El Salvador. Verde olivo. Verde olivo, militar. Uh -huh. Ah, va. Ah, pues ese sería number five, letter G. Okay. Eh, después dice orange, orange, fighter fighters. Sí, pink. Best. Thank you. Traditional quinceañera dress background. background. Ah, quinceañera, quinceañera. Uh -huh. Es cierto. El uniforme tradicional de la quinceañera. So El vestido seven, tradicional. La siguiente sería Seven Surgery Strap. Falta la letra A, ¿verdad? Sí. Six. Number three. Number three. Number three. Right? Uh -huh. Este, Nurse. Eh, Nurse. Is number two. Two. Uh -huh. two. Uh -huh. two is, is letter I. I. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Um, Dark green is what? No, no. Oh, okay, wait. Um, <laughs> yeah. letter, letter A is nurse's sweet. Is, is color white, no? The nurse, but, yeah, uh, white. But uh, letter A, surgery scroll switch. No, eh, no se refiere a los a las batas de, de, de doctores o de cirugía. Sweet. Check the word suit. Surgery suit. Hmm? Sorry, screw suit. Um, suit, traje, suit. Ajá, es como el traje de cirugía, ¿no? Yes, it is. Yes, it's but is. What color is? Uh, dark green. Dark green. I think it's dark Sir? green or. At less in public hospitals, yes. Yes, right. Oh, okay. But 
Yes, Dark because gray. in El Seguro Social, maybe they are light blue or gray, right? But in yeah. in the public hospitals, they are green. Dark green. Dark, Dark green. green. Okay. Then they stay like this. Um, number one is letter D. Letter D? Yes. Uh -huh, number one, letter, letter D. D. Letter number D. two is letter A. Huh? Number I, three. I, 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 I see. It's I, right? I, I, I. Um, number two is letter, I. Is number three is J. Is yeah. letter J. Mm -hmm. Number four. Good. Now we are, um, just one second. I don't see it here. Daniela, do you mind sharing it? The, the document teacher. Yes. Uh, no, the, what you did, what you did. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just give me one minute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Like this? Okay. Yes, there you are. All right, people. Now, what is number one? What is number one? Dark blue. What letter is it? Letter D. Mm -hmm. Letter. All right. Ajá, di, léamelo, léame qué es. Eh, the National Civil Pollution Uniform is letter, is number one, dark blue. Dark excellent, blue. excellent. What about number two? Fire fighters uniform from El Salvador. N number two? No. White. Uh, no, right. Narcissus, suit. yes, narcissus. Yes. Suit. Mm -hmm. What about number three? Number three blue is red. blue and deep red. Uh -huh. Barcelona FC EFC uniform. Yes, football club, right? Football club. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. A ver, continue with number four. Number four. Number mm -hmm. four, blue and, blue and white. white. National, flag. National, flag. National flag of Salvador. National flag of Salvador. Very good. Number five. Olive, Olive green. Green. Mm -hmm. Is letter G. Military uniform Olive. from Salvador. All right. Number six. Orange. Is fire fighters uniform from El Salvador? Yes, and this is the new color, right? This is the new color. Before they didn't have uniforms or they didn't have an official color, but now they have the orange color as universal as the universal <clears throat> emergency uh, uniforms in. Uh, everywhere, right? So it's universal now, orange. All right, number seven. Surgery's group suite. Yes, ese se dice así, mire. Surgery, surgery, scrub. Surgery. Scrub. Surgery, scrub. Suit. Suit. Suit, ajá. Aquí oh. como que la I no estuviera, pero está. O sea, hay que darle así como un... Un estilito nada más, suit. Mm -hmm. 
right? Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Y todos los que son trajes, for example, you have the jacket and then your trousers, then those are suits. suits. A formal suit, a formal suit, it has a jacket, it has a skirt too. So those are suits, trajes. All right, number eight. Funera clothing. Yes. Yes. Number nine. Glorious and green with a reflection line. Where are the flores? Traffic security officers. Obstructing. Officers. Officers in Salvador. All right. Fluorescent, fluorescent. This is just fluorescent, fluorescent green. Fluorescent green. Fluorescent green. green. With yeah. a reflecting line. All right. Okay. What yeah, about I number number line. 10? Thank you, Juan. Traditional quinceanera dress ball gown. Traditional quinceanera dress ball gown. Yes, and we wrote traditional. We wrote traditional because traditional. in these days, uh, the girls choose any color, right? But traditionally, it's pink, right? Yeah. All right. So thank you very much, Daniela. You, you may stop sharing. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, now we go to the next part, all right? The next part, just to remember how to express possession, all right? Object possession. So we need to um, uh, express this with some words. Remember, my and mine, your and yours, his, his, her, what is the her. other one? Her. her. It's. It's. All right. We. Ours. Ours. Yeah. Ours. We sería our. Ours, Our. right? Mm -hmm. They, their, their, theirs. Theirs. theirs, with the letter theirs. S. Remember theirs. that it is very important to pronounce letter S. All right, now let me share the screen with you. And we want to remember okay, how to express this. We want to remember, I'd like you to remember this, all right? And now you give me an example following these example, all right? For example, this is my shirt. My shirt is red. The red shirt is mine, all right? Let's try to do an example. Use your own shirt now, all right? For example, my own shirt will be, this is my shirt. My shirt is black. The black shirt is mine. All right, now your turn. Everybody, your turn. Let's start with Isaura. This is my chair. My chair is red. The, no, sorry. My All chair right. is gray. The gray chair is mine. Excellent. Carlos. This okay. is my shirt. My shirt is black. The black shirt is my is mine. Excellent, Carlos Castro, come on. Mm -hmm. Carlos Castro lo dijo anteriormente. Sí. Um, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excellent. Yes, because you have your gray shirt. Thank you very much, Carlos okay. Eduardo. Okay, this is my shirt. My shirt is light gray. The light gray shirt is mine. Excellent. All right, now, Marcelo. Hi, 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 hi. Mm -hmm. I am present. Uh, uh -huh. This my shirt is black. My shirt is black. The black shirt is mine. Excellent. Norma. Thank you. Bye. This is my shirt. My shirt is pink. The pink shirt is mine. Excellent. Blanca. 
this is my shirt. My shirt is black. The black shirt is mine. All right, Jonathan. This is my shirt. My shirt is dark blue. The dark blue is my shirt. It's mine. Excellent. The dark blue shirt is mine. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Eunice, please. This is my shirt. My shirt is black. The black shirt is mine. Excellent. Edwin. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. This is my shirt. My shirt is gray. The gray shirt is mine. Excellent. Ali. This is my shirt. My shirt is gray. The gray shirt is mine. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All right. Esto lo podemos usar en cualquier otro tema, ¿ok? No solamente con ropa. También lo podemos usar con las cosas, with things, all right? Remember plural and remember singular. This is singular use. What about, what about uh, when we want to express something in plural? Then we use these, look, are, are mm -hmm. Vamos a decir my shoes, okay? These are my shoes because they are plural. They are two. You don't buy only one shoe. You wear two shoes because you have two feet. All right? So these are my shoes. Mm -hmm. My shoes, ¿qué uso? Is or are? Are. Are. Mm -hmm. Well, mine right now are blue, okay? You can say yours. Uh, now, the blue shoes are mine. All right. Aquí lo que tengo que eh, fijarme es que no voy a decir the blues, ¿verdad? Siempre voy a decir en singular el color. A lo que le voy a poner el plural es a las cosas. All right. Okay. So okay. the blue shoes are mine. All right. A ver. Right. Mm -hmm. Give me an example, guys. Now let's listen to um, Mariana. Mariana Denise. Usando el plural. Plural. Hello, Mariana. Yes. Okay. Give me an example using this <coughs> plural. Um, these are my dresses. All right. Mm -hmm. On the other, um, my shirt is Dress. blue. Okay, shorts siempre van a yes. ser plural. Entonces, my oh. shorts are blue. Are blue. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the blue shorts are mine. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Denise. All right. So this okay. is the way to express possession of objects. Uh, not only for clothes, but for anything that belongs to you, all right? The things that belong to you, okay? Esta es la forma de expresarlo. Acordémonos que si es para tú, okay? These are your shoes. Mm -hmm. Aquí también podríamos usar, por ejemplo, these are el uh, nombre posesivo. Acuérdense del apóstrofe y la S. These are Norma's shoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are Norma's shoes. Mm -hmm. Podríamos decir these en singular is. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say Alice shirt. All right, this is 
Edwin's computer. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Si el objeto yes. está cerca, vamos a usar this and these. Si está lejos, ¿cuáles son? Those. That's for singular and those mm -hmm. for plural. All right. Mm -hmm. Remember? Digamos que está lejos la computadora de Edwin, right? Entonces yo digo, that is Edwin's that is, computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this is just to remember, all right? This is just to remember. Now let's start the new topic. The new topic is seasons and clothes, right? Seasons and clothes. And we are going to start by talking about the seasons. Do you know the seasons of the year? Do you know the seasons? Summer, uh -huh. winter, autumn. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, go ahead, go ahead. There you go. Uh, I don't remember the, I just remember Bring, the three. Spring. <laughs> Uh -huh. right. no. And winter, right? All right. So the seasons is talking about the weather, right? Weather. Weather means clima, okay? The weather. So sometimes it's very important to know how to describe the weather, all right? So now we are going to um, start by knowing how to describe this. When we describe something, we use adjectives. Remember, we use adjectives. Uh, what adjectives do you think that we can use to describe the weather? Imagine you are hot. 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 Yeah, the yeah. weather oh. is hot. All right, yeah. the it's weather weird, is yeah. hot. All right, but oh, the, 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 uh -huh. the weather it's is weather. Cold. 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 Yes, mm -hmm. the cold. weather is cold. Usually, cold. is hot or cold. cold. But it can be warm, okay, warm. Warm is not exactly a nice weather, but it's not raining, it's warm. sunny, maybe it's breezy, warm. Excuse me? Warm. Tell yes. me, Norma. Aha, uh -huh, Norma. Okay, okay. What nice. can I say uh, yes, kind of. Uh -huh. Está calido, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Not raining, not hot, but, mm. or not cold, not hot, but warm. It's, sometimes okay. they say nice and warm. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, but okay. sometimes it, it's humid too, so it's not so nice. But yeah, warm, it's kind of nice. All right, let's go to our books. In our books, we have the weather and seasons around the world. So let's read this. Let's read this. Allow me to share this in a basic form. All right, here we've got the weather, okay? The weather. Let's look at the words that we can use to describe how's the weather or what's the weather like, all right? So it says, it's spring in Brazil. It's warm, it's very sunny, right? It's spring in Brazil. It's warm, it's very sunny. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Korea's weather. It's summer in Korea. It's summer in Korea. It's raining, it's hot and humid, okay? It's hot and humid. Now, 
It's fall in the US. It's cool, it's cloudy and windy. Windy. Cloudy con nubes. Está como nublado, ¿verdad? Okay. Windy hay viento. Okay? So, mm -hmm. it's winter in Russia. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very, it's very cold. cold. Yes. And if you see, it's 10, 10 centigrades, right? Say centigrades. So it means it's freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. Uh -huh. Está congelante, ¿verdad? Freezing. Mm -hmm. Like frozen, like frozen. You know frozen, <laughs> the movie, <laughs> all right? So yes. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say it. Let's say it. it's warm. It's very sunny. Everybody, it's warm. It's, it's warm, very sunny. Warm, very warm, sunny. sunny. It's, warm, it's raining. Very sunny. It's, it's hot, hot. It's raining. And humid. It's hot and yeah. humid. It's hot cool. It's cool. It's, cool. Cool. it's cloudy. It's, it's cloudy. cloudy. And windy. And windy. And windy. And windy. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's, it's very cold. It's very it's cold. Very cold. Okay, the seasons of the year are spring, summer, fall, and winter. All right, again, spring, summer, summer, fall, fall, winter, and winter. Fall, otoño, winter, invierno, summer, verano, and spring, primavera. All right. 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 Uh -huh. right. Okay. Right. But look at the summer in Korea. What do you think about that summer? Mm, not nice. <laughs> not nice summer. Summer usually is nice, right? But summer raining? Mm, interesting, right? Interesting. All right. Now we are going to answer this question. What are the seasons in your country? Are they like this? Uh, what is your favorite season? What's the weather like today? Okay, let's start. Let's start by looking at this. And let's talk about the weather in El Salvador, all right? What's the weather like in El Salvador? What's the weather like in El Salvador? Well, in El Salvador, we don't have the four seasons, right? We don't have the four seasons. We have we only have two. two seasons, yes. Yeah. Dry season and rainy season. All right, dry season and rainy season. And the dry season, it's comparable with the summer, right? It's comparable with summer. Rainy season, it's comparable with winter, right? There is like a comparison here, all right? Like a comparison. It's not exactly that in winter, it's only raining in other countries. Maybe in other countries, it's snowing, right? And other countries, it's snowing on winter. So we say rainy season is comparable with winter, right? So, and, but the weather in El Salvador is um, like a tropical, tropical climate, tropical climate. Climate is another way to say clima, okay? Climate. Um, so we have the dry and the rainy. Okay, what is the opposite of dry? What is the opposite of dry? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál sería el opuesto de dry? Wet. Yes, wet, okay? 
So the rainy season, it's also called the wet, right? Wet season. We can call it wet season. We can call it, we can call it rainy season or let's say winter because cultural, I mean, um, the term in our culture is winter when it's raining, right? Do you know the months of the year for the dry season? I think we are right now in the dry season. Are we? Uh, where? We are finishing the winter season, right? Yeah. Because it's from May to October, the wet season. All right, what about the dry season then? March is so hot. So I March think... is hot. Yes, March is hot in El Salvador. We have the Holy Week or the Mayor Week, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, dry season could be from November, right, to April. I think so, right? What do you think? What season do you prefer? What season do you prefer, guys? Do you prefer rainy. dry season or rainy season? Rainy season. Rainy season. Rainy season. Rainy season. Rainy season. Why? Rainy season. Hey, come on. No way. Do you, like, do you the like windy. going to the beach on a rainy season? A rainy season, you can, yeah. rainy you can season. sleep every, every day, all day long. <laughs> 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 the warm heat is horrible, teacher, so oh, I yes. prefer the rainy season. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it's really hot when the dry season is running. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, some of you prefer the rainy season and some of you prefer the dry season. All right. Now let's go and check this. What's the weather like in your city? What's the weather like in your city? Vamos a ver. Ahí podemos usar estas expresiones. Today, today is raining. Today is sunny. Today is cloudy, ¿ok? Veamos las que teníamos en el libro, ¿ok? Las que tenemos en el libro podemos usar como today is windy, today, well, here is not snowing, right? Anywhere, so nowhere. Uh -huh. So hot, humid, and very sunny or warm, all right? Let's think about this. Mm -hmm. What's the weather like in your city? Today is cloudy. All right, today is cloudy. Um, sunny. sunny, all right. Today, today is um, cloudy and warm. All right. Mm -hmm. Ahí Carlos Eduardo usó una conjunción muy importante, and. And, and significa que las dos cosas están pasando, ¿verdad? Pero yes. tenemos otra conjunción para decir que algo más no está pasando. Y ese es como el pero, ¿verdad? But, but, excluye la siguiente parte de después de but. And, agrega, but, quita, ¿ok? Entonces, si nos fijamos por acá en el ejemplo, podemos decir today o podemos decir it's, ¿ok? Entonces, pero siempre tiene que ir uno de los dos. Uh, ¿Por qué? Tenemos que acostumbrar a nuestro cerebro que en inglés tenemos que contestar tal como nos preguntan. Y es necesario usar el pronombre y el verbo con el que nos están preguntando o el auxiliar con el que nos están preguntando. Entonces, what's the weather like? It's sunny and hot. Both, okay? Sunny and hot. Veamos en un momento que pueda ser contrastante. It's sunny but breezy, okay? It's sunny but breezy. Quiere decir que hay sol, pero también hay vientecito, hay brisita, ¿verdad? Hay brisa. Entonces, eh, este but es como eh, 
diciendo, ¿verdad? Eh, uh, contrastando, contrastando sería acá, ¿ok? Contrastando. Tiene dos usos. El primero que les decía es que excluye, ¿ok? Cuando usamos un negativo después del but. Pero si usamos una cosa positiva y otra cosa positiva, quiere decir que estamos contrastando, ¿ok? Contrastando, ¿correcto? So, and, add, but, contrast, all right? Okay, what's the weather like in your city, Eunice? Eunice? Today is rain. It's raining, all right. Mm -hmm. Raining. Okay, Juan Marcelo, what's the weather like in your city? Um, it is uh, sunny. It's sunny. Very good. It's sunny. Okay. Is it hot in your city, guys? No, no. Uh, no, it isn't. It is cold. It is no, cold. it isn't. No, it isn't. A ver, is it cold or is it hot in your city? Is it hot in your city was the question. Is it hot in your city? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nice and warm. <laughs> it's right? warm, yes. Okay, it's nice and warm. All right, all right, people. Bien, entonces, como ahorita está así el clima, okay, what are you wearing right now? ¿Puedo usar now o puedo usar esta otra palabra para decir ahorita, verdad? Nosotros tenemos esa, esa palabra tan bonita, ahoritilla. <laughs> what are you wearing right now? What are you wearing right now? I am wearing camouflage trousers, a black polo shirt, and flats. All right. Now it's your turn, guys. It's your turn. Think about what you are wearing, wearing right now, okay? What are you wearing right now? What are you wearing right now? Everybody please go to the chat and write. I am wearing Oh, Jonathan, calzoneta, pero calzoneta de bañarse. It's a swimming suit. Swimming, swimming suit or swimming shorts. Okay. A jumpsuit, all right. Pero si no, todos se llaman shorts, okay? Todos se llaman shorts, Jonathan. Good. I'm wearing a sleeveless shirt, shorts, and sandals. Sleeveless significa sin mangas o desmangado, ¿ok? Ahí tomen esa palabra de vocabulario, miren. Sleeveless. Hmm? Ok, writing on the chat. I am wearing... Excellent. I am wearing a dark blue sport shirt and a sport short. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flip flip flops, all right. Shorts, siempre shorts, 
en plural. Pants, siempre plural. Excellent. All right. Ok. Ok. Bien. Ahora solo quiero que veamos la última cosa. Tenemos dos minutitos todavía ahí. Y quiero que veamos en nuestro manual. Ok. En el manual vamos a encontrar que tenemos el presente continuo. Ok. El presente continuo es un tiempo verbal que nos indica lo que estamos haciendo en el momento que estamos hablando. Ok. This is a verb tense to express the action at the moment you are speaking. All right. ¿Cómo se conjuga esto? Uh, se usa el verbo to be, así como I am, conjugado, ¿verdad? Sería I am, you are, we are, they are, she is, he is, etc. So, veamos cómo se hacen las oraciones. We write a subject, then the verb to be, then we write the ing verb form. Los verbos se les agrega ing. Eso quiere decir como nosotros en español, ¿verdad? Jugando, usando, comiendo. All right? So, she's wearing shoes. Do you see here? She's wearing shoes. We're wearing shoes. We're wear, wearing shoes, right? Um, okay, veamos con el ing el verbo snow. El verbo snow, le agregamos ing para decir está nevando. It's snowing. It's snowing. A ver, ¿y si está lloviendo? It's raining. ¿Y si no está lloviendo? It's raining. It isn't raining. Okay, it isn't raining. Okay. So now, we, we're, uh, it's two o'clock already. It's two o'clock already. Uh, we're going to stop here. Remember, present continuous is to say things that are happening at the same time that you were speaking. All right. We are practicing tomorrow about the present continuous, all right? Remember to do your um, work on the platform, all right? The knowledge checks. All right, guys, please get ready, turn your cameras on and say present when I call your names. Alexandra Patricia Arevalo Reyes. Present. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides Martinez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Castro Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Argumedo. Present teacher. Okay. Cristina Stephanie Ortiz Mancía. Edwin Alexander Hércules Torres. Here I am, teacher. Eunice Abigail Rodríguez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Isaura Abelia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Jonathan Mauricio Aguilera Clímaco. Present teacher. Juan Marcelo Flores. Present teacher. Mariana Denise Monterrosa Portillo. Present. Marvin Alberto Aguiluz Martínez. Merín Daniela Carranza Valencia. Present teacher. Néstor Arnoldo Mendoza Alarcón. Norma Elizabeth Lizano de Quinteros. Present teacher. Teacher, mire, cree que me puedo desconectar y que a las dos tengo otra conferencia. Sure, no problem. Go ahead. Thank you. Tomorrow. Okay. okay, see you tomorrow. Yamilet Geraldina Martínez de García. Hoy no estuvo Geraldina, ¿verdad? Okay. Remember, attendance is essential to approve or to pass the course. All right. Remember that. 
Okay, people, see you tomorrow. Have a very good day, the rest of the day. And let us meet here. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. See you later Bye. tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. See you. Take care. Bye.